This is Meet the Wolfpack. I'm Sports Information Officer Larry Reed, and we are joined right now by Sarah Malate, who is into her fifth year as a guard with the Wolfpack Women's Basketball Program. Sarah, five years. Sure goes fast, doesn't it? It really does. It do, really does. Do you remember your first year here, and what brought you to, to TRU? Well, basketball, first of all, brought me here. It was the main reason I came, but the main, or I stayed because of basketball and school. Mm -hmm. Like, I've just kind of made my made my home here now. Right. Yeah. So when you were looking around way back when, five mm -hmm. years ago, you know, what set to TRU apart from everybody else? Was it the basketball program or, or was it academics or what? It was basketball. I think it was the highest level of competition I was offered, so I couldn't turn it down. It was, mm -hmm. it was a, too good of an opportunity. So you're from Calgary. You moved to, to Kamloops. Mm -hmm. Tell me, a little bit of a culture shock or not? Um, not really. It is a smaller town, which I actually really enjoy. Mm -hmm. It's not as hectic. It's more relaxed, and it really is a university town, which I like. Is there an average, during the season, is there an average week for you? And, like, how do you balance the whole uh, school versus, uh, you know, practicing and traveling sort of thing? You really have to plan ahead and manage your schedule and know when your midterms are, know when your assignments are due, but then when it's time to practice, it's really time to practice and that stuff doesn't exist, so you really have to compartmentalize it. So is, is that difficult to do? Because I would imagine, say, you're, you're, and, and your, your, program, your practice, for instance, are in the afternoon or in the evening, mm -hmm. you might have like uh, you know, economics course, because I know you're a business major or, mm -hmm. or HR, and, you, and you've got your head into that, but as soon as you walk into the gym, it's got to be basketball home. Yeah, and same, same goes with school. So once basketball is done, it's school. So mm -hmm. yeah, like yesterday I had practice, at 2.30 and I had class at 3.30 and just like rent straight there so right. I have to drop everything and change mindsets. Your first year here, did you, and, and now I'm coming full circle because now you're a fifth year, did you have like an older player that kind of showed you the ropes, told you what to do uh, and, and now do you find yourself in that sort of role with the younger players on your team? Yeah, actually my person I would say was Jen Ju. She, she's a Magnif magnificent person. She has gotten a lot of people through their first, second years. She's just a great mentor. And I found it odd when I came into my fourth year. I was thinking because Jen was in her fourth year when I was in my first. So it was kind of like I would be in that position. And So how's it been thus far? And do you find that you're saying stuff to the, to the first year players that Jen might have said to you, and, and it's weird to hear, hear her words coming out of your mouth. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's a bit of a role change, and it's something you had to, gr like everybody has to grow into. So, mm -hmm. but you know, it's part of the team aspect, and you mature through it. You were uh, uh, obviously one of the top players at your high school, moving to CIS. Can you talk a little bit about the adjustment? Because I'm sure some of the people that are, that are watch, watching this are, are potential student athletes that mm -hmm. are, are thinking, you know what, you know, I, I'm pretty good on my team, but now I'm in, Can in Canada West. Which is the top league in CIS? Yeah, I, I couldn't have expected it. It was a drastic change, actually. And the level of competition, the level of athleticism, it was a drastic change, but... It was interesting. <laughs> so, but so, how did you deal with that? Were you kind of panicked the first time? Out, oh especially? yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I don't know. You just have to train, train through it and adapt, I guess. But mm -hmm. I don't know. What's your favorite uh, gym uh, to play in? Uh, obviously, was it is it the Tournament Capital Center? Oh, and what's, obviously. And, yeah. and what's it like playing here? Playing here is my favorite gym. Obviously, playing at home, you have a home court advantage. You have your fans, your f friends, family. That's that's the best part of it. Last year, the, the team hosted their first... Well, first of all, congratulations to the team because you. you won the Explorer Division, mm -hmm. which means you got to host a first-round series, a great series here with Victoria. That was an experience. Yeah. <laughs> Holy yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. What stands out in your mind? How close the games were. Those were three of the most intense games I've ever played in my life, and I'll never forget them. I wish the, <laughs> the result was a little different, but they were three of the best games I've ever played. What was, it like, what was it like afterwards? Like, and, 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 and maybe touch on a little bit, uh, Sarah, uh, the community aspect here. It, you, we, we're in an environment where five radio stations mm -hmm. cover you on a regular basis. We've got a yeah. you know, television station, newspaper. Um, you're out in the community, so you, you make that tie. So what, what was it like afterwards? The support was unbelievable. Like, 
everybody, everybody knew we were there and they were out supporting us. Everybody bought tickets and cheered for us. But after the losses, everybody, I've, everybody has had people come up to them and say how we never gave up and how it was just so entertaining to watch and having that support is unbelievable. Yeah, I actually heard from some people it was the best mm -hmm. basketball they saw here in 30 mm -hmm. years. So so that being said, <laughs> now as, as you start uh, uh, preparing for the 2015-2016 uh, you know, mm -hmm. season, uh, is there pressure on you to duplicate that? Yeah, of course. We want to, obviously we want to match it, but also we, we also want to do better than we ever have. So mm -hmm. to win our division, to get into playoffs, to win playoffs, that would just make my fifth year. Coming from a major center like Calgary, mm -hmm. where university sports is, it, it's, it's among the mix, but you know, it's not the Flames, it's not the Stampeders. Yeah. Coming to a place where you know, you're on the front page of the paper, or you know, you're on the radio all the time, mm -hmm. what's that like? And, and uh, is, is it a, what, an attract, attractive thing to be in? Um, it's definitely different. It's nothing I could have expected, but it's more like, like in Calgary, you wouldn't have seen like little kids. They might not have recognized you as much as they do here, which is kind of cool. And you can see how much they look up to you in a way and right. admire you. And you've done a lot of that stuff in terms mm -hmm. of going out to the community, like all our, our athletes mm -hmm. do. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. And uh, uh, obviously, when you finish up here, it's going to look good on your resume as well. Yeah, it's the involvement we have in the community is really good. I like every event we go to. I think some that stood out are the Terry Fox run. I think you were with me mm -hmm. with that, and actually running the running it with the kids is really enjoyable. Seeing them bolt around, but running camps is also probably my favorite parts. Is just like teaching them. The basics. And you've actually worked the last a couple of years for the uh, at the TRU Wolfpack mm -hmm. yeah. at McDonald's Sports Camps. What's that like? That is probably my by far my favorite job so far. It's just so enjoyable. Kids are they're crazy and they're so fun and it's it's a good it's a great environment. So hopefully you're going to graduate mm -hmm. uh, this year with yeah. uh, a degree in business, uh, majoring in HR. HR. Mm -hmm. You want to make Calmus your home. Why why yeah. why have you come to that decision? It's just it seems to be a good fit for me. I like the smaller aspects of it, but it's still a city. It's still still there's still stuff going on and I don't know I find it my family's here now other than my like obviously my home family right. but like my parents my brother sisters but like made my I've made my life here I think awesome mm -hmm. so just before we let you go what words of advice would you have for a potential student athlete uh, because obviously this is on the website as well mm -hmm. uh, that is considering coming to TRU uh, whether it's in basketball or, or another sport? Um, just ask lots of questions. Like, anybody here is willing to help you and, like, be, be more outgoing and everybody will welcome you with open arms, pretty much. So do you think you've matured over the last five years? I like to hope so, yeah, <laughs> or I'd like to think I do, I have. All right, Sarah, thanks for this. <laughs> Thank Sarah Milani joins us. She is a guard with the Wolfpack Women's Basketball Program.